Hey, 30 Minute Marketers, Gary Baker here with you. Today's video is a response to a question that you see right here. When will you release a short video on upsell and downsell using GrooveFunnels? The answer to that question is right now in this video. So before we get started, let's take a look at a actual upsell downsell funnel. So this is what an upsell downsell funnel will look like in a traditional sense. And I'm showing you this in Funnelytics. You have a sales page, you have an order page, then you have an upsell, a downsell, another upsell, another downsell. And this can go on and on depending on what you're buying, where you're buying it from, and if the marketer thinks this is a good idea or not. Of course, that's a different discussion. And then it'll hit your order confirmation page. And typically you get an order welcome email and you're added to an email list, all that good stuff. Well, we're gonna simplify this today by showing four pages. And again, these pages we're talking about are just the marketing pages. So that's the sales page front end. Then we're gonna have an upsell. Then we're gonna have a downsell. And then we're gonna have a thank you page to deliver the product. Of course, this is all hypothetical. There is no actual product. There are no product pages. This video is supposed to be short and sweet and to the point on how to create an upsell and downsell funnel using Groove Funnels. And I'm gonna show you this with Groove Sell because the pages themselves are just web pages. You can build these in any web page builder. The actual function of the upsell and the downsell when you're talking about actually selling products is actually a function of the marketplace or the cart that you're using. So for example, if you're using Warrior Plus, JVZoo, ClickBank as a marketplace, or you're using a cart, SamCart, ThriveCart, uh, Pay Kickstart, or in this case, we're gonna be using GrooveSell, and I'm gonna show you how to do this with a sales page front end, where we're gonna have a thing for sale, we're gonna have an upsell, we're gonna have a downsell, and then we're gonna have a thank you page, and I'm gonna show you how I created this and how it works right now in GrooveFunnels using GrooveSell and Groove Pages, and you can do all of this for free, and of course, the link in the description. And when you click on that link in the description, you'll land here after you create your account inside of GrooveFunnels. And first things first, we're going to go to Groove Pages because we're talking about creating those four pages that I showed you, which includes a sales page, upsell page, downsell page, and a thank you page. And once you're inside of Groove Pages, you can see here I created a site called Thing for Sale. We're gonna go ahead and open the editor and I'm gonna show you the pages that are actually built under the new Funnels tab. So traditionally you have your pages right here. This is if you're building out a complete full site and you want navigation, but in a funnel, you don't want any navigation because you don't want people clicking away or getting distracted. So what they've done is they've created the funnels and you can see here the index and four pages, the sales page front end, the upsell, the downsell, and the thank you page. And let me show you that again, just so you remember exactly where we're at. So again, this is our funnel. Our traffic, our people that we're trying to sell to are gonna land on the sales page front end. They're gonna buy the thing for sale here on that sales page. They're gonna be delivered to an upsell page. The upsell page is gonna have the order form for the upsell. If they don't want the upsell, they're going to be, there's going to be a link that takes them to the downsell page. And then if they don't want the downsell, there's gonna be an option and a link to take them to the thank you page. So let me show you this in action by actually building these products inside of GrooveSell and then showing you how everything works in a live demo. Okay, back inside of Groove Pages, you can see here we have the sales page front end, and here it's just a simple template. And as you can see right here, you have your order form that was created in Groove Sale, and I'm gonna show you that in a second after I show you the pages. Again, here's the upsell page. The upsell page is using the template. You're gonna see here it's connecting to the secure payment server. There is your order form for your upsell. And there's an option here, no thank you, with a link to your downsell page. Then there's going to be your downsell page. Same looking kind of page, except you see it says downsell page. There's going to be an order form here that they can use to order the downsell. And if they don't want it, that'll take them to the thank you page. And on the thank you page is actually the page that I created to say thank you and a button to access what I said here, a membership area, or that could be a direct download, whatever you want to do, however you want to deliver your product. Because one of the things that GrooveSell currently does not have as of this video, October 11th, 2020, is any automatic integration to actually deliver files or access a membership area to include GrooveMember. So you have to sort of do this manually by creating a thank you page like I'm doing here. So now let's hop into GrooveSell and take a look at the way this funnel is set up and it's all connected with Groove Pages, and then we'll look at that demo. 
So we'll go back to the main screen. And again, this is the main screen. Link in the description to grab your free account. Pop into GrooveSell. Inside of GrooveSell, you have your vendor dashboard. What you want to do is come down to Funnels. Then you have all these options over here. We want to ignore those for now. And what you would do is use the new product funnel. And this is where you would create your funnel. And your funnel is going to be where you're going to put all your products or your upsells and your downsells. So you can see here I have a thing for sale funnel created and I have three products inside of that funnel. So simply go to manage products. And once you're inside of manage products, once you've created it, you'll see you have a thing for sale, which is your front end product. You have an upsell, which is on your upsell page and then a downsell, which is in a downsell page. And you can simply see right here, you can click edit and you'll see all the options and we'll walk through those because they're all the same for the front end and the upsell and the downsell. It's just whether or not it's the front end or the upsell and the downsell and your sales page is going to change. And I'll show you that right now. As you can see, this is the front end product. If this was the upsell or downsell, we would check that. And you just simply move along to pricing. And when you get in pricing, you'll see here that you can select one time, recurring, installments, and you simply just set a price. You can see this is set to $1. Then you go into gateways. This is your actual payment gateway. This is how you're going to take your payments. They have PayPal. You can see here I've connected mine to a credit card, which is a Stripe account, a test Stripe account. There's a video here on the channel. You can check that out, how to set up GrooveSell with Stripe. And once you do that, you just say you want 100% of the money to go into that payment gateway. And then you move on to contents. And here is where you see you'll put your sales page URL. This is the Groove Pages page that you created. In this case, you can see thing for sale at 30minutemarketing.groovepages.com, thing for sale slash sales page. And that page looks like this. This is the live page published right here with the Groove Sell checkout right there. It's embedded in the page. So you'll see that right there. The thank you page is the thank you page that you created again inside of Groove Pages and you just keep going. You continue on to checkout. Currently, all they have is GrooveSell hosted checkout. You can see the other options coming soon and all these other options that you might need or might not need, go ahead and check those out. Order bumps, not available right now, so we won't activate that. And here is where you actually create the funnel, the upsell and the downsell. You can see here, I have the upsell page linked to our upsell page. You can see this can also go directly to your thank you page which would be the option you'd use on your downsell. So again, this is the funnel, the post transaction URL, meaning once you make the payment or the purchase on the upsell or the downsell, this is the action that GrooveSell is going to take and lead your customer to the next page inside of your funnel. You're gonna see that in action here in a second. And then we're gonna move on to fulfillment. Here you're going to see thing for sale cannot be delivered either as a download file or integrated membership because those options are coming soon. So you'll see you only have one option, no access page. And again, that's why we're linking to a thank you page. And you're gonna see here you have the options for affiliates. You can activate an affiliate program if you want to, and you can set all that up. We're gonna go no affiliate program. There's also a proof widget that is available. And then once you get to finish, you'll see a tracking link. And this tracking link is embedded inside your Groove pages, inside of the body just so that Groove Pages, Groove Cell has all the information and it knows exactly what's occurring or not occurring as your potential customer moves through each step of your funnel, upsell, downsell. Then to finish that, you'd simply click save and you can click exit up here or you can go back to the dashboard. Going back to the dashboard takes you back to the vendor dashboard. Click back on funnels. Back inside of product funnel, thing for sale is our product funnel with our three products. Again, you would just create each one of these individually. Thing for sale, upsell, downsell, each one of these is the actual checkout page, the cart, the checkout form that's embedded, that's each one of these. And to make this active and actually embed it in your Groove page, I'll show you that now. Then we'll actually do the live purchase demo. So what you see here is the upsell and the downsell. This is the funnel. Go back to product funnels, and then there is an action here to actually change it to draft mode or make it active. So for example, if you create a new product funnel right here real quick, I'll just show you how this works. Because this step is something that you'll probably miss out on when you create your product funnel. 
because when you actually create your funnel, you'll see it's in draft mode and it won't go live until you actually click here and check it and make it live. So you won't be able to add your actual checkout, your embedded checkout, your group sell checkout in your group pages. And that's what I'm gonna show you right now is actually where the settings are to actually add those embedded checkout forms. To add the checkout form, you go back under Groove Pages. You go back into your site. Of course, this site was Thing for Sale. And then under Funnels, you'll click on Funnels, go into your index, and we'll look at our sales page front end right here. And we'll close this options right here to give us more space. You can see this form right here when you click on it. Check your breadcrumbs, body block container, layout two by two container, groove cell checkout. Go under configure. Here's where you'll configure the checkout page, the funnel, and the product along each page in your upsell and your downsell. So that is all the options you need to do. And of course, over here is the element. Before I forget, if you scroll down, the element was actually found right here under e-commerce. It's the Groove Cell Checkout. You just drag that over and then you actually have that element right there. As you can see, Body Block Container, Layout 2x2 two two Container, Groove Cell Checkout. Once those pages are created, you simply come under Publish. You check Host Your Site with us. 30minutemarketing.groovepages.com is the subdomain and the folder is Thing for Sale. And then you simply click Publish. Then when that's published, it'll say content saved. Changes usually go live within a few minutes, but may take longer. So now we're gonna go to the sales page, as you can see right here. This is our thing for sale. It is for sale for $1. We need to enter our credit card because this is connected to Stripe. So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to walk through this, make a few test purchases using our test Stripe account, and you're gonna see this in action. And you'll actually see the emails that are delivered to the customer and the emails that are delivered to you as the vendor. So here we go. We'll just go ahead and we'll just enter some stuff in here and make sure that you have something that's deliverable. Company name, I don't think it matters. Address, 123 Street, anywhere, postal code, United States, phone number, all that good stuff. Thing for sale, credit card number. This is a test purchase. So we're going to use the test purchase credit card number from... Groove, I mean from Stripe, and we're going to enter all this bogus information. It doesn't matter. We just need to fill it out, and you're going to complete the purchase. Now, when I select complete purchase, this purchase is going to be made, and you're going to see this is going to redirect me to the upsell. Again, that's going to look like this. We are here on the sales page front end, and we are going to push complete purchase. When we complete that purchase, it's gonna take us automatically to the upsell page that we configured inside a Groove Cell. Then that's going to allow us to purchase the upsell. If we don't purchase the upsell, it's gonna take us, or there's going to be a link to the downsell. And then on the downsell page, if we make that purchase, it'll take us to the thank you page. If not, there'll be a link to take us to the thank you page. So let's pop back over to the sales page front end and complete the purchase and watch this in action. So here we are back on the sales page. Like I said, we filled out all the contact information. We put in our credit card information and we're going to complete purchase. And you can see there it is processing. You can see there we were automatically redirected. Wait, your order is not complete. Here's the upsell, it connected. Here is our upsell page, our checkout form. You can see we have another product for sale as the upsell, but also we have a no thank you, but how about a downsell offer? So if no one wanted to purchase the upsell, they could click on this and it says no thank you. We'll go ahead and we'll open that in a new tab. You'll see that that then opens and takes us to the downsell page. Here we would put the same information in. We'll go ahead, GL Baker, we'll use this email. We'll go ahead, put in our company information, phone number, whatever, and you can edit this cart again in Groove sale when you create the product and you create the funnel, but for now, we're just making this simple and trying to keep this video short, sweet, and to the point. We'll go ahead, fill in the information, complete the purchase. Remember, this is the downsell page, so if we make the downsell purchase, we'll actually be taken to the thank you page, or the customer has the option here to click away with the no thank you. Click here for the thank you page where they would be delivered the products that they've already purchased. Here we're going to complete the purchase and you're going to see that's going to direct us to the thank you page. And there you go. Thank you page. Access your membership area. In this case, it just links back to the 30minutemarketing.net blog. We'll go ahead and click it just so you can see that the button does work. And this is how you would deliver your content.
depending on whatever your product was. If it's a physical product, then you have to figure out how to deliver your physical product. If it's a digital product, it would be delivered just like you saw there, where in this case, they were just linked to another page where the content exists. So again, real simply, we walk through creating the sales page front end, the upsell page, the downsell page, and the thank you page. Again, these are the marketing pages that you need to create inside of Groove Pages, and then you need to create your actual product pages, and then you also need to create the actual products inside of Groove Sale. So back inside of Groove Funnels, we'll go back into Groove Sale, we'll see if any of our products was created, and then we'll take a look at the emails that were generated and delivered to us as a vendor and also as a customer. Here on the dashboard, you can see new sales, $2, and you can see that we made $2 in sales right here. If you go back into your product funnel, you'll see thing for sale. You don't actually see the sales here. I don't know what happened. This used to work. You can see here I had a sale up here when I created this new product, but for some reason this is not working. We'll go down to reporting. You can see here that GL Baker purchased thing for sale and the down sale right there. You can see the information, the date and the time and the email as well as the company and the address and all that great information. So you can see that that is working. Now let's check out the email that was received as the vendor. So as a vendor, what you'll see right here is you'll see an order and you'll see you've made a sale that'll be from Groove Sale. And then you'll see there'll be all the information here of the person that purchased the upsell and the downsell right there. Then as a customer, what you'll see is you'll see invoice for your purchase and you'll see thing for sale right there and you'll see your order ID. So back inside of Groove Funnels and Groove Sale, again, there are your sales that you made, there's your funnel. There's how you create your funnel. Again, the thing for sale funnel is thing for sale, which is the front end, upsell, downsell. Again, you created all the pages inside of Groove Pages. You added the checkout widget. You connected that. It's all interconnected, Groove Sale, Groove Pages. It's all drag and drop. It is currently still in beta. They are working out the bugs, but you can use it for free and it would work if you needed to sell your products. Right now, you have the ability to create the marketing pages as well as take payments. You just have to make sure you understand that you have to deliver your product manually once they make a purchase. So make sure that you create a thank you page and on that thank you page, you give them all the details they need to know how to get in touch with you as well as access to the product that they paid for. If this video was helpful, give me a thumbs up, 30 minute timer right here. Click that timer, subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Just like the videos you see right here, click those, keep watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.